so let's proceed to a program so first step as we all know is including a header file okay after that we are defining the structure okay so let's define a structure with the name student struct student and then we are defining it so it is enclosed in curly brackets and it's followed by a semicolon and then within this curly brackets we are including the members of that particular structure for student for being the first program let's include two members one is roll number so int r number and second is float marks so we are just defining these two structure elements so this means the structure name is student and student structure has two members one is roll number with the data type integer and marks with the data type float okay after that so now structure is defined next step is we have to declare the structure variables you have two options to declare structure variable so let's define one variable say a so either you can write like this which means that a is a structure variable of type student second option is we can declare it separately like struct student a this is another method okay in both ways you can declare structure variable and after that you are starting the main function void main function and here what we are doing is printf entering details of the student entering details of the student and then we need to get the details so scanf first roll number is of which type integer type so it is percentage d and we need r number in normal variable we give it as ampersand sign r number but here we need roll number of which variable a so it should be a dot r number so a dot r number means structure variable is a a dot r number okay so in this step we are getting the value of roll number for the variable a and second so here we have to specify we need the value of roll number so printf slash n enter roll number okay next is the same way we can get the value of marks so enter marks and here you can give and a dot marks and this is of type float so you can give percentage f so in these two steps we have got the value of roll number and marks for the variable say a next step is we need to print it so for printing what we are doing is printf details of student printf roll number is of which type data type is integer so roll number it is a dot r number a dot r number here and it is semicolon similarly printf marks percentage f a dot marks so here the program is complete now let's check if it is working here we missed a semicolon 
again we'll check enter roll number say 35 marks say 98 so details of student roll number is 35 and marks is 98 So in this program, if we need one more variable, say for saving the name of the student, which is important. So right now we have only integer and float. So, for example, if we need the name of the student, you can add char name, and we can give say twenty. Uh, you can give uh, for entering the details. You can give say printf. Fashion enter name and here you give get us dot name. Okay, we are doing this and then here also you have to print right. So you can give printf slashen name. And you can give put as a dot name. And let's check if it is working. Enter roll number say one. Mark say ninety. They have not asked for the name. So this is an issue with string. And for solving this, I'll tell you what to do first. It is hash include std lib dot h. It's a header file. You have to include that. And just before get this, what you have to do is you can give f plus std in. You can give this, and you should just remember whenever we use get us, and uh, in some cases when we set give a set of uh, inputs, whenever you enter a character or a string, generally what happens is this issue can occur. So before that, just before entering that character using scanner for a string with the spaces using get us, just before that you can give f flash std in. By adding hash include std lib dot h so that the input buffer will be cleared. So when input buffer is cleared, there won't be that uh, error that we saw earlier. The error error is that the user cannot enter the string just because the compiler is not giving us an option to enter the string in such program. So avoid that. Just before entering the string, we have to clear the Buffer. The input buffer has to be cleared, and for that we use f flash std here. So whenever uh, you are using get us, just before that you can give f flash std here to clear the input buffer. To clear the input buffer. So now let's check if it is working. The roll number is one. Mark say ninety five. Now it is asking for the name. You can give a name, and now it is giving the output also. So whenever you are using get us, before that, give f flash std in, and for that you enter one more, add one more header file hash include std lib dot h, and this is done to clear the input buffer. So this is how we deal with a simple program with structure. Including a character array or string, integer and float. And to access the corresponding structure elements, we use dot operator.